Hi, and welcome to my guide how to complete the General's Shadow mini quest. The quest requirement is Fight Arena and also partially completed Desert Treasure for the Ring of Visibility. Also, you will need to have completed the Curse of the Empty Lord mini quest for the Ghostly Rope set. Skill requirement is just to be able to kill a combat 160 without the, able to use any prayers. Items needed are a Ghost Peak Amulet, your full Ghostly Rope set, a Ring of Visibility and 45 coins. For the suggested items are something like 2 Stamina Potions and then some food, armor, weapon and potions to defeat Bouncer of Combat 160 after banking, but he's actually quite easy to kill if you are Combat 100 or higher. For the teleports, those are a bunch. One teleport to Camelot or Sears Village, two teleportation methods to Releka or the Slayer Cave, I will be using the Fairy Rings, one teleport to Chandy Pass, I will be using a Ring of Dueling, one teleport to the Felador Farm Patch, I will be using the Explorer's Ring, one teleport to Taibo Wanai Village, I will be using a Fairy Ring once again, one teleport to the Gnome Stronghold Entrance, I will be using a Slayer Ring and then one teleportation method to a bank and the fishing guild. Or you could just use the bank in the fishing guild. I will be using a skill necklace. Alright, let's go to the entrance of the Slayer Cave, turn our camera west and let's walk or run west. Now we will need to start looking for a ghost. Now this ghost is not marked on the minimap as a yellow dot. He is not even seen on the minimap. And he has a wander range from the entrance of Releka to the golden apple tree to the uh, swaying tree. So somewhere near this dirt path going to the Slayer Cave. Somewhere north or south of this dirt path we should be able to find him. So don't look at the minimap and you just need to look at your screen. What would make this a lot easier, uh, just go and play on Resizable and then you have a wider view. Oh, also, to be able to see him walking, you will need to wear your Ring of Visibility and to be able to communicate with him, you will need to wear your Ghost Peak Amulet. Be sure to wear this and let's try to find General Kazard. Oh, found him. That was quick. He was just north of the uh, shortcut to Sinclair's mansion. Let's talk to him. Select the first option. Uh, well, you don't have any eyes. How can you tell? Select the first option again. I am a very trustworthy person. And next we will need to go to Sincere. So let's use our first teleport and let's go to Sears village. Once we are in Seer Village, we will need to go to the Spinning Wheel. The spinning Wheel is just the building south of the Elemental Workshop quest, where you can get your slashed book. Let's climb up the ladder, and let's open a door west. Just open the other door west, and here we'll find Sincere. Let's talk to her. Select the first option, Bribe. And then select the first option, here is the money. And she will give you Sincere's note. And now we will need to return to the Ghost of the General. Either run all the way north back to Raleka or use an other alternative method. I will be using the Fairy Rings. I'm going to use AJR. Teleport and this will teleport me to the Slayer Cave. Now I just need to run west and let's try to find the general again. All 
right, here he is. Let's talk to him. He, you will, you will give him sincere notes. And now we'll need to go to four ghost scouts. Uh, let's first go to Chanty Pass. Why not? Ring of Dueling to Duel Arena, or use any other method. Now, once again, we will need to wear our full ghostly robe set, so the ghosts, so the ghost scouts can recognize us as the messenger. We will need to have the Ring of Visibility to be able to see them, and the Ghost Speak Amulet to be able to communicate with them. After we have reached Chanty Pass, let's uh, pay 5 GP for a pass, enter the desert, and just south of the desert, just a couple of tiles south, we should be able to find our first scout. So, buy a pass, go south, and somewhere near south of Irina, at these rocks, we should be able to see the ghost. All right, here he is. Let's talk to him. Skip through the conversation until it is over. And then we need to go to the next scout and he's located uh, just north of the Felador farm patch. So let's use our explorer's ring or any other method. Go north and between the Felador wall and the Draenor Manor wall, there we should find the uh, second ghost. So, uh, let's try to look for that one. Whoa, just missed him, god damn. Alright, let's talk to scout number two. After we have skipped through this dialogue, we'll need to go to number three. Uh, let's go to Taibo Wanai Village next. So I will be also using a Faring teleport. We could also use a teleport scroll or any other methods. Let's configure if you're going to use the Faring rings and we need to use CKR. Teleport. And let's now just go uh, northeast of the Holy Lake, northeast of the Fairy Ring. We will need to go to that mine. Between the village, the red fence of the village, and just south of the Hardwood Grove, between the mine and the Hardwood Grove, somewhere here, we will need to find that ghost. It should be at this little path between the village and the mine. So let's first go to the mine. And let's try to look for him. Oh, that was lucky. Damn, he's so, they are so hard to see. Alright, skip through this dialogue. And let's go to number 4, which is just south of the entrance of the Gnome Stronghold. So, let's make our way to the entrance of the Gnome Stronghold. I'm going to be using my Slayer Ring. And I'm going south. Now this Ghost Scout also has a quite large uh, wandering range. His range is uh, from south of the entrance to the wall of West Ardoin all the way west to the Hobgoblin. So somewhere near there we should be able to find him. So first I am going south to the uh, northern wall of West Ardoin and if I still haven't found him then I'm just going to slowly walk west until I see that ghost. Oh, is that him? Oh, found him. Okay, for me, he was located, well, <laughs> just south of the entrance. Let's skip through this dialogue and he is the last scout. After we have talked to him, at the end of this conversation, he should say something uh, about Parlov, if he has said that, we are able to go to Kazard. So let's go back to Raleka. Once again, I'm going to use the Fairy Ring. Configure. AJR.
And let's try to find the general hazard for the third and the last time. After we've talked to him, he will give us his severed leg. And then we will need to bank at the fishing guild or anywhere else to prepare for the boss fight and that will conclude this mini quest. Once you've found General Kazard, let's talk to him. Give us your leg. Alright, let's now teleport to a bank. Doesn't matter which one, you could also use the fishing guild bank. And let's now prepare to fight the Comet 160. But he isn't actually that difficult. I'm going to deposit my ring, my slayer ring. Uh, still need my skill necklace. I'm also going to bring one teleportation method away from the goblin dungeon, just uh, next to the fishing guild. I'm going to continue cutting some redwood, so I'm going to have my skill necklace as my teleportation method away. As for some weapons, let's just grab the usual slayer gear. Okay, this regular slayer gear. Just an amulet. You shouldn't need your ghostly rope set anymore, as well as your ring of visibility and the ghost peak amulet. We just need to go to the goblin dungeon just next to the fishing guild. There will be an ambush. We will need to kill the combat 160 and then that will be the end of our mini quest. Now, one last thing is that the max hit of Bouncer should be around 18 to 20. So bring some appropriate food. Also, you're not able to use any prayers in that dungeon, so no need to bring prayer potions. And let's go to the fishing guild. Alright, let's go to the dungeon sign just uh, east of the fishing guild. Let's enter the entrance. Let's go north. As I told you before, you don't need your ghostly ropes anymore. Uh, I just have them in my inventory because I want to show you the ghosts after we have completed this mini quest. Alright, let's go to the alcove just north, uh, just like in the uh, one small favor quest. Turn your camera south and here we'll find a crack in the wall. Enter the crack, click to continue, yes. This is an instance, so uh, be sure to not die, that would be bad. You will lose all your items and here we'll find Bouncer. Bouncer will be aggressive and attack you. Well, just kill him. Only 120 hit points. And then you have completed your mini quest. Now, what I want to test out is will I be able to do this on my 10 hit points account? Apparently, if you walk along south next to the western wall and just run to the southwestern corner, he will not be able to attack you. If you are a very low combat, you can also just flinch him, wait for the health bar to go away, attack and do this over again. Now, I need to have a cannon and I will not be able to complete it on my 10 hit points account. Can't set up a cannon. Alright. Defeated Bowser. You will see a short animation. You finished off the dog. And you now have Shadow Sword in your inventory and 2000 Slayer experience. Now if you would ever lose your Shadow Sword by destroying it or dying for example, you just need to go back to this alcove in the Goblin Dungeon, equip your Ring of Visibility and your Ghost Peak Amulet, enter the crack and here you'll find the ghost. Oh, you don't even need to wear your Ring of Visibility apparently. So just wear your Ghost Peak Amulet, talk to the ghosts, and he should give you the Shadow Sword back for free. This was my guide how to complete the General's Shadow mini quest. Hopefully it helped, so let's do our master clue. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.